Yes, sir. Oh my God. He's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. Look at that. Oh my God. Guys, this might be my PB. This might be my PB. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh man. Oh my God, that's a good one. Oh man, oh man. It's a four or five pounder. Fishing for Giants, episode three. We are already on episode three and I'm having so much fun making this series and I hope you guys are enjoying watching it. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys wanna see some more Fishing for Giants episodes, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys are new to this series, be sure to go watch the last two. We've caught some giant fish. Pretty much in the series, we're just going out, shooting for the biggest fish. We don't care about, you know, smaller ones and catching a big number of fish. We're just trying to catch the giants. And that's exactly what we're about to do this morning. It's actually very cold outside and I'm hoping we're gonna get a pretty good morning bite going. I got a few rods rigged up with a few baits that I'm about to show you guys. And then we're gonna go out to this pond behind me and fish. We're gonna be hitting a few different locations today and I'm praying that we're gonna catch, you know, a six plus pounder. This is probably the first time you guys have seen this reel on YouTube. This is a 13 fishing Inception SZ right here. We're gonna be trying it out for the first time today. I've never thrown this reel. I absolutely love it. I wanna know you guys' thoughts in the comment section below if you guys think this is a sweet reel or not. I mean, look at it. This just matches, you know, what I do. I love the green. I paired it up on a fate black and it just looks sexy guys it is looking good paired up a brand new 17 pound seaguar fluorocarbon actually have a fish head on there we're going to be throwing a little trailer on there as well here in a moment and then right here i have a booyah rattle trap on my concept z on a fake chrome these are the two combos that we're going to be focusing on today i'm super excited to throw this guy because i haven't got to do it yet and hopefully we'll catch a big bass on that all right I'm trying to decide, you know, what I should start off with. We got the trap and then the fish head, but I really want to throw this reel. So I think we're going to start off with this. I actually set this to how, you know, I usually set my concept A's and concept Z's. And I don't know how it's going to cast. I'm going to have to, you know, obviously adjust it. God, this, this reel is sweet. This, <laughs> I love the green, guys. You guys know I love green. First of all, we need to check our drag, tighten that down a little bit. Very important when getting a new reel to make sure it's set up right. You never know what's gonna happen when you're out here. All right, let's give it a cast. First cast. Holy crap. Wow. That was pretty smooth, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to toy around with this today. See how this thing is. I think I'm gonna like it. I love the green, it matches everything that I got. When you pair this up on the fate black, it just looks so good. Uh-oh. There he is. Oh, man. Oh, it's a good one. Guys, like fourth, fifth cast. I'm about a pound, pound and a half. He ain't a giant. But guess what? We're going to get the monkey off our back right away today. On like the third cast. Look at that. Fish head spin. Boom. Right there. Just about a pound. Maybe, nah, just about a pound. But that is okay. Because we got to get the monkey off her back at some point today. For that to happen right off the bat, I cannot put this fish head spin down. I'm going to have to continue to throw it. Because if they're going to eat it, then I will throw it. Because this is one of my favorite bites and by far my favorite bait. All right. Well, we're going to put this fish head down for a minute. Put the new Inception SZ down. Grab our old Concept Z with the trap. This is what I'm really feeling. I feel like they, they're going to munch a trap in this pond. There he is. That is not a giant. <laughs> that is not a giant, guys. But we have to weave through the small ones to catch the big ones. But look at his lips right there. Wow. Look how red they are. That's a big one. Big one, guys. Uh, no, he ain't. No, he ain't. <laughs> I lied. But I'll take him. It's been a minute since we had a bite. Third fish. 
We're still getting somewhere. We're still working. He felt big for a minute there. He was fighting. Or when he hit it, he hit it sideways like a big one would. Oh, my God. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, my God. He came off? Did he come off? No, I got him. Oh, man. Oh, man, people. Fishing for giants right here. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's a four or five pounder. That's what we need, baby. That's why we're filming this episode. Oh, man. He's bigger than that. Now he's about four pounds. He's got it choked. It is gone. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at that right there. That is a solid four pound fish. <laughs> that is what we're coming here for. Look at the fat belly on him. He's bleeding a little bit. Let me get him in the water. There we go, baby. You see that right there? Solid, I, I, I wouldn't say quite four, I'd say three and three quarters. He's bleeding a little bit, so I'm gonna get him back in the water, but what a beautiful fish. This is why we're fishing for giants today, baby. Hit that like button. Beautiful fish right here. There he goes. Well, we aren't gonna consider that like a giant, but I can tell you, any fish that's around four pounds, that's considered a big fish in my opinion. And that is a great way to kickstart Fishing for Giants, episode three. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we're actually gonna head to a new pond right now and let me tell you about this. The first episode of Fishing for Giants, Adam caught his PB here. He caught like an eight, eight and a half pounder. And I'm pretty positive that there's a ton of them in there. Th let me just say this, last year around this time, I caught two eights and a nine out of there. So there's some giants and they're actually caught on this fish head spin. So we're gonna be giving this guy a try and that's why I tied him on today because I just have a feeling that, you know, we could catch a really, really big fish on that and it'd be well worth it. So we're about to head over there and hopefully just whack an absolute toad. We're already on good tracking right now. You know, we got a four pounder, but now we need that six plus. There he is. And there's a big one. Oh, he's a crappie. Holy smokes. That's my PB crappie. That is my PB crappie. No wonder he felt so big as his body I was pulling sideways through the water. Look at that crappie. Holy smokes, is that a crappie right there. On the fish head. That was surprising. I'm telling you guys, when I get a bite out here, I expect it to be like the absolute giant. And there's fish in here that can eat that crappie. It would not surprise me whatsoever. Oh my God, I got another one. Yeah, those are crappie, 100%. Those are some, oh my God. Oh, that's not a crappie. That's a big, oh, guys, guys. Oh my God, I got a five pounder, six pounder. Holy shit, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh my God, and look in the back of his throat. <sighs> Guys, I just caught a freaking, look at his stomach. That's kind of five and a half, six pounder. Uh, fishing for giants. <laughs> look at this fat stomach. And look at this, guys. Let me show you this. You see that tail on the back of his throat? Looks like he's got a bluegill or a crappie of some sort. That is a freaking giant on the fish head. That is amazing. Look at that right there. Solid six. Look at that. Look at that fish. I don't know if you guys can tell by his stomach. That's a solid five to six pounder. Look at that fish. Fishing for giants, guys. If you don't have post notifications turned on, this is, this is it. Look at that bad boy. Let's get him back in the water and try to catch another one. All right, baby. Thank you, big five pounder, so much for biting. Oh yeah, that's what we come here for. Right there. Fishing for giants. That is a toad. Yes! Guys, I'm speechless. This is exactly why I do this series. Come out here and try to catch the biggest fish possible. We already got a five to six pounder and a four pounder already in this episode. I said we needed a six plus and I, I'm gonna count that as that. 
So now we just gotta shoot the goal higher for an eight plus, guys. We gotta go for an eight plus pounder. That's what this video needs. And we gotta bring it to you guys. All right, baby, that fish head got it done. That's exactly what we needed. Back to back cast, I caught a crappie and then a huge bass. I thought it was crappie hitting at me. And then all of a sudden, you know, I get a giant bass to eat it. That is a good sign. We haven't, we barely even started fishing this place yet. And we are getting peppered on the fish head. Almost every cast I've thrown with it, I've got a bite. No way. Are you guys? No, he's not big. But that's three casts. Unbelievable. The fish head is getting it done. They're sitting right out here where it necks down. It's like a little ditch that goes right down this little pond right here. And that's three fish in a row right down that. They're just sitting right in it. There has to be some more big ones. Oh my God. Guys, this might be my PB. This might be my PB. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's got me stuck in the rocks. He's got me stuck in the rocks. <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, it's about a seven, eight pounder. He's just in the top of the head. That's about a seven, eight pounder. <laughs> he looked like he was 10 for a minute there when he turned. Oh my God. It's unbelievable right here. I don't know, I don't know if I have much to say. All I know is we've caught like a seven, a six, and a four. I'm I'm speechless. I am freaking speechless. <clears throat> Guys right there, seven, eight pounder, giant bass. We're gonna get him back in the water and try to catch another one. We've caught a six, a seven, eight pounder right here, and then a four, and I'm just, I am i can't believe what's really happening right now, but let's get him back in the water. I want you guys to look at how big, and that is a massive fish. Oh my gosh, amazing. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally speechless right now. Um, a four, a five to six pounder, and then about a seven to eight pounder. I don't know what to say. All I gotta say is I left that pond alone. We're gonna have to, I'm going to, my dad's actually coming in town and I gotta take him out there. Um, I'm gonna leave that on hold. I am gonna fish a little bit longer. I'm gonna fish the pond that we started off at, see if we can maybe catch one that's bigger than four. I am really mind blown. This has been one of the best days I've had fishing in a long time. And of course I'm by myself. Couldn't even get any pictures or anything. That is amazing. If you guys wanna see some more videos like this, pepper that like button up. If you guys haven't clicked that subscribe button, I don't know what the heck you're doing because guess what? We catch the biggest fish on YouTube on this channel. And uh, let's get back out there and do some fishing. I want to throw this rattle trap. Maybe we'll catch another giant. All right. I don't know if I can top that one off, but catch a freaking four, a five, and a seven. How is it? Okay. I'm just going to continue to fish like I haven't caught anything. I'm just going to have a good jolly old time. And there is something going out in the middle of the pond right out there. Oh my god. Two pounder. This is unbelievable. I was shifting my body to make a different cast and he just loaded up on it. Look how fat his stomach is. Solid pound and a three quarters of that fat stomach, honestly. He's heavy. <laughs> They're all freaking chunks. Straight fatties. I don't know how you can beat this right now. Money shot right down the pipe. Yes, sir. That actually feels like a good one. He is running at, oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh my God. He's 
a lot bigger than I thought. Saw it three, three and a half. Saw it three. Ugh. He's bigger than that. <laughs> you understand? I got a, I got a three and a half pounder in my hand. Do you guys understand that I have a three and a half pounder in my hand? I want you guys to understand with this fish, we got about 23, 24 pound bag right now. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I called that shot and I threw out there and I did it. Look at his lips, holy smokes, look at his lips. I want you guys to look at how fat his stomach is. Solid three and a half, three and three quarter pound fish. Unfreaking believable. To note that this is our almost our smallest of our best five. This is our fourth smallest. Just just to let you guys know, and that is a big fish right there. I mean, that's a solid three and a half, three and three quarters. <laughs> I'm gonna have to toss them. I'm gonna note you guys that I can't get down there. It's water. And he swam off. Oh gosh, guys, this has been the best day of my life. <laughs> Guys, since, since we just caught a fish, I have to throw another cast, but it, something's telling me I got to call this video, but I'm going to throw another cast. I want to see if I can just hook another one, and then we're probably going to have to call this guy off because we have caught so many giants. I want you guys to enjoy these episodes and actually watch them and look forward to them and not just watch me catch a dirty 30 because I know if we spent some time and went back to the other pond, we would catch a dirty 30 today. No doubt in my mind, but we're going to throw a few more casts. Maybe we'll even hook another one. And we catch one on our last cast. And I think we're gonna have to end it off on that note. <laughs> Look at that. That is so funny. Every fish has been fat, and then this one just starving. I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry. Woo! I just fell in some water. Sorry I had to trick you with the lure. He actually needs some food. Fishing for Giants episode three was a success. I feel like they're getting better and better, guys. So if you guys are new to the channel, you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, be sure to click the subscribe button. But be sure to click the notification bell right next to that as well because it notify you guys when I upload a new episode like Fishing for Giants or whatever I'm uploading. Also, if you guys want to see some more like this and you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. I hate to call it today, but I'm going to have to call it. It's been an outstanding day, and I'm so blessed to have this. I mean, I've caught a four. I just caught one that was pushing four. So pretty, we're just going to call it two fours. One that was about five, six pounds, and then one that was about seven, eight pounds, and, and then a two-pounder. And so we caught over 20 pounds today with our best five, easy. And it's just unbelievable. I had a blast. It was only like two hours of my time. It's outstanding. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to go film episode four of Fishing for Giants. So stay tuned for that one. I'm going to be coming out very soon. I'm going to actually go hit some different locations up and see if I can film another one of these dope episodes. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about that green reel right there. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Beat it up, beat it up, keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up. Pac Man, 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 Pac Man. Whoa, beat it up, beat it up, keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up.